Hello everyone and welcome back to a new video on the how to make a pet simulator x star game series. In this video we're going to be taking a look at how to make this uh, coin dropping system so that when we destroy a coin or a chest it will drop some coins and when you get close to them it will collect the coins. Also, if you guys want to support me and want to have access to all of my project files, including the one you're watching right now, uh, the map will be included, the asset pack will be included, and the scripts will be included. Uh, they will all be available on my Patreon in the $10 tier. The link will be in the description and in the pinned comment. With that being said, let's start. Alright, so to start with, I'm going to, to start working on the coin dropping system. So I'm going to go to the workspace, I'm going to add a part. We're going to set the size of that part to 1, 1, 1. And then I'm going to change the background transparency, or transparency, sorry, to 1. And we're going to add a, uh, a um, billboard GUI. And we're going to set the size of this to 1, 0, 1, 0. And we're going to add an image label. And I'm going to change the size of the image label to 1, 0, 1, 0. And then we're going to change the uh, always on top property to true. And I'm going to change the background transparency of my image label to one. And then we're going to get a random image from the toolbox that will show us a coin icon. So I'm not going to use any coin icons. I'm just going to... Okay. Actually, I am going to use a coin icon. So I'm just going to look for one in my toolbox. So, hmm. Maybe I should use this one. Okay, I'm just going to go for this one. I'm going to paste it in and it works okay now what i'm going to do is select this part and drag it inside of my client modules and i'm going to add a module script and we're going to call it currency dropper and we're going to drag this part inside of our currency dropper and i'm going to call this part uh, maybe coin drop okay now what we're going to do is we're going to go back to our uh, the spawn script and we're going to copy all these variables up here so copy them paste them in here so that's just some variables that we have to copy and what i'm going to do is inside of the workspace i'm going to add a folder and i'm going to call it coins or uh, um, collect okay so just maybe just okay i don't know what to name those just coins or currency drops, yes. Currency drops. Now what I'm going to do is function module dot drop or drop currency. And that will take the currency and the origin C frame. And then that will take the okay, so let's see. So we will also need an amount. And when we get the amount, what we're going to do is we're going to do a for loop. So for i, and we're going to start from, uh, so, so for i is equal to, we're going to start from zero to amount do. And what we're going to do is local cloned drop is equal to script colon find first child currency colon clone. And clone drop dot name is equal to and uh, currency dot dot i and cloned drop dot, uh, okay, so clone drop dot c frame is equal c frame is equal to origin c frame and clone drop dot okay so dot parent is equal to uh, uh currency drops i'm going to copy this and i'm going to create a reference for our currency drop so local currency drops is equal to workspace call with for child currency drops okay so now we're now choose a random x value for the velocity so random x and that will be equal to uh, a table and inside of that table we're gonna have math.random oh math.random from minus 10 to minus 5 and comma math.random from 10 or from 5 to 10 okay now i'm going to do local random z and just copy this paste it in here and then I'm going to do local velocity is equal to vector3.new and uh, random x, random x, 
square brackets math dot random i'll explain this in a bit so math dot random one comma two math dot random random for for here just put from 30 to 100 and then just put random z math dot random from one to two okay so that should work now and now what we're gonna do is clone drop dot assembly linear velocity i think that's what it's called um is equal to velocity now what i'm going to do is exp explain what this does so this function takes three arguments the currency the original c frame which we're going to spawn from and the amount of coins that we want to drop so this will start from zero to the amount and we're going to clone the um uh, drop that we just created which is the coin drop and we're going to set it c frames which so c frame is just position and rotation in roblox we're gonna set it to the origin C frame and we're gonna parent it to the to this currency jobs folder. Then we are choosing a random X and random Z. Now you might be wondering why won't we just do a local random uh, random X is equal to math dot random? Why not just do from minus ten to uh, my, my, from minus ten to ten? Well, I actually thought of doing this, but here's the problem with this. What if it gives us uh, minus two? Or what if it gives us uh, one? What if this returns uh, a random number between, because this is going to return any number between minus 10 and 10. So what if it, go it gives us one? Well, that's not going to be enough to move our, to move our uh, coin drop. So what I'm doing in here is creating a table and we're choosing a random number. So it, it kind of limits it. So from minus 10 to minus five. So the number is not going to be lower than minus five. Well, actually it's not, it's not, okay. Then minus five or, uh, so another, so another item on the table and it's math.random from five to 10. So this is the negative numbers. So if it's a negative X, it's going to choose this. If it's a negative, if it's a positive X, it's going to do this. And in here, what we're doing is choosing a random item from that, a, a random X from that random uh, X. So basically, uh, I don't know how to explain this, but we're just choosing either this math.random. So either if it's going to be positive or if it's going to be negative. And the good thing about this is that it makes it random. And for the Y, we're just choosing a random number between 30 and 100. And we set the assembly linear velocity to the velocity, pretty simple stuff. Okay, so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna enter our despawn scripts and we're gonna require this script. So local, local currency dropper is equal to require script dot parent with child currency dropper. Okay, now what I'm going to do is in here, what I'm gonna do when we okay, I'm going to do currency dropper dot drop currency, and we're gonna drop the coin drop, and just do just do origin C frame, which is going to be drop dot primary part dot C frame. Also, if your primary is not if, if your primary part is not set for any of these, so just like your job, add a part to it a part or we'll just choose any random part in your drop model and just select primary part and just click on any random part and that should work now what we're going to do is we we'll get the drops primary part c frame and then we need the amount so for the amount i'm going to put in eight so i want to drop eight coins and let's see if that will work but before we play test we're going to enter our client script and we're going to change the amount of modules to four because we have four modules. Now we're gonna wait a bit. And okay, so now I'm going to try to click this and it should drop some coins. And as you can see, it dropped some coins. Okay, so now we need to make these coins uh, collectible. So what I'm gonna do is inside of this currency dropper, what I'm going to do is uh, run service. Okay, so do we have... Okay, so we need run service in here. So we're going to do local run service is equal to game, come on, get service, run service. And then local players is equal to game, come on, get service, get, uh, get service players. And then what I'm going to do is local player is equal to players dot local player. And in here, I'm going to do run service dot render steps, come on, connect function. And I'm going to do local character is equal to player dot character 
or player dot character added character added colon wait okay so i'm gonna check if character is a, if the character is there then what we're gonna do is well uh we're gonna loop three for underscore for underscore comma coin or comma okay comma currency drop in pairs currency drops on get children do i'm gonna change this to coin and what i'm going to do is okay let's think about this hmm okay i think i got it what i'm gonna do is check if uh coin dot position minus uh minus character dot primary dot humanoid root part part dot position is greater or equal or is it less or equal uh, less or equal than uh, 10 studs then what we're gonna do is collect the coin so i'll just do uh coin dot anchored anchored is equal to true and coin dot c frame is equal to coin dot c frame on lurk and we're gonna do character dot primary part dot humanoid root part dot c frame also you're gonna have to change this okay i just i just figured out that i messed up something change this to dot position and here do dot magnitude and here i'm gonna do character dot humanoid root part dot dot c frame comma 0 0.05 and that should work but i just realized that we also have to set the anchored property to the calculate property to false that's going to keep on pushing us i'll show you what that will do so as you can see the coins do come to us but as you can see they keep on pushing us because they're collidable so whenever we do this what i'm going to do is coin dot can collide is equal to false and i'm going to change this to 0.1 instead of 0 0.05 and that should work let's see so it does drop now we can collect them and what i'm going to do is okay i'm going to do uh else else if just copy this and change it to one then what i'm going to do is coin on destroy and let's see what that will do so that should destroy the coin when it's closed enough to us so just click this and it does not destroy it hmm weird let's see so we're checking oh okay guess okay, simple enough what i'm gonna do is get rid of the cell if and i'm gonna do if this and that should work now Okay, so I'm gonna drop this again. I'm gonna get close to this, and as you can see, they do uh, destroy when we get close to them. But a better thing we can do, uh, a better thing we can do is twin them instead of just destroying them. So we we do have variable for twin service. So what we're gonna do is twin service colon create, and I'm gonna do coin dot uh, okay coin dot uh, bill bill board gui so let's see if it's called billboard gui and yes it is called billboard gui and we're gonna do twin info dot new 0 0.3 i'm just going to do size is equal to using two dot from scale zero comma zero comma play and then we're gonna do that stop weight 0 0.3 and coin on destroy let's see if that'll work so we're gonna click coin and after it drops the coins we're gonna get close to them and as you can see they do destroy which is pretty cool so that's i like that okay 
so yeah i think this is going to be it for today's tutorial if this was helpful please subscribe like the video share it with your friends and i will see you all in the next video bye